Sagittarius. What's going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of August. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. Shout out to all my supporters who has liked, shared, and subscribed at any point in time. Shout out to all of you guys. Thank you so much to all of my supporters, to anyone that sent anything to the PayPal or sent anything through the Amazon wish list. We do have some new decks here. We have uh, the Unicorn playing card deck. And we also have the Game of Thrones playing card deck that just arrived. So we will be using this one today, you guys. So shout out to my baby girl, Callie. And shout out to my baby girl, Miss D, again for the support. If these videos um, give you guys any type of clarity, any type of insight at any point in time, and you guys want to support, or if you guys want to book a personal private reading, only thing that you need to do is go on over to that About tab on my YouTube page. If you want to book a reading with me, you have to do two things. Book and then link with me, okay? So there's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me. Go ahead and click that link. Select the type of reading that you want. And then you link up with me. So directly under my booking link, you'll see a link that says Instagram. Go ahead and click that. And you can send me a personal private message on Instagram. And we can link there for the video chat. If you don't have Instagram or prefer not to use your Instagram, only thing you need is your email and you can download this app called Google Hangouts okay again the app is called Google Hangouts you use your email as well as mine which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and send me a message and we can connect there for the video chat all right and again only thing you need to do is send me a message and say hey Reds this is so and so I booked with you on this that this and that a day of time and we'll connect there. Most likely though, whenever you guys book with me, as long as I have availability that day, I try to get you guys um your reading that same day that you booked. So um just make sure as soon as after you book with me that you send me a message so that we can connect for the reading. Now if you do not want to get on camera for the reading if you just want to send me your question pertaining to the reading that you've purchased and if you want me to pre-record it and do a private upload to YouTube that way I can send you a link on the platform that we're communicating on there's an add-on that you can purchase you can also use that add-on if you want me to record the reading if we are having a live video session so if you want to record the reading so that you could go back and look at it and have a copy of it forever um there's an add-on there okay so it's called um a direct upload uh slash recap Okay, so you can purchase that and when you communicate with me after booking, you can say, hey, Reds, I purchased the add on. I want to record our session when we do our video chat and or you can say, hey, Reds, I don't want to get on camera. Here's my question. Okay, and if you don't want to get on camera, send me your question. Make sure you don't tell me the meat and potatoes around why you're asking a question. Okay, because I want to go into the energy blind and see what spirit has to say and then we can connect on the back end and we can chit chat it up and talk about what was said okay so um if you guys have any questions you can always email me again at um scorpionreds at gmail.com thank you again for all the love light and support if you want to support the page at any time like i said if these videos resonate and you just want to send you know some thanks and form a paypal or if you want to go check out some of the things on the amazon wish list and send some love to the page that way to help with you know equipment and help us you know grow and things like that um those links for the paypal and the amazon wish list is also in the about tab all right so sagittarius so let's get into the reading okay come on saggy saggy all right ooh, ooh, ooh. okay now let's not knock everything down in the name of jesus all right hold on now all right let me get a sip of water real quick excuse me y'all all right Drake in the back saying, you got it, girl. You got it. Hey, hey, you got it, girl. You got it. Listen, okay? So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here. For the sign of Sagittarius, Father God, it seems like we got it. You telling us we got it. I got that energy, and I'm 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 accepting that for the sign of Sagittarius. We look, we're we're accepting that blessing, Father God. 
we're in this spirit of you know that goddess energy just knowing that we got it we got everything that we need to get through whatever it is that we're going through at this point in time in our life father god thank you so much for that positive goddess and that emperor energy father god we're taking charge we are like literally facing anything that we need to face we're taking responsibility and we're taking authority and we're making changes and we're making decisions and we're transitioning towards the positive in our life father god so thank you so much for bringing us to that light thank you so much for bringing us to that power thank you so much for helping us you know put that you know it's like we we, we just need some extra jet fuel to get that fire lit up in us again you know i just feel like it's been like a heavy weight on sagittarius that's been kind of holding y'all down a little bit like i said y'all look like you got it you got it that flame that fire is being lit back up under you and you about to take charge and like show people who's boss you know what i'm saying like don't ever sleep on the saggy like ever <laughs> saggy we the baddies <laughs> okay saggy is a baddie okay so Thank you so much for giving us all the light, the joy, the positive reinforcement, and the blessings, Father God. Please give us guidance for my Sagittarius for the month of August. Thank you again for all the lessons and the blessings in the past, present, and especially in the future. We thank you now for all the blessings soon to come in the future because we know that they are on its way, Father God. Thank you again. Please give us guidance for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of August 2019, and we thank you again, Father God. Amen. <coughs> All right, let's get into the general energy here. All right, give me general energy for my Sagittarius for a month of August. I don't want to play no games, play no games. We got two. We got the storm angel. Collision of beliefs, styles, attitude, and energies. It looks like, you know, there's a storm brewing in your environment with someone. Y'all are having a clash. It's a clash of the titans, you know. You going one way and somebody is going another. If you say left, this person says right, you know, yin, yang. But that ain't in a positive thing. It's just like y'all need to have. It just it needs to be some balance with someone and, it, and it's not. And it's just a very stormy time right now. And I really do feel like Sagittarius attitude has been popping. Like it's definitely been a storm brewing and hovering over top of Sagittarius right now. And I know it has a lot to do with that goddamn retrograde energy. But let me try to tell you. Things are being broken right now for a reason. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because y'all just don't agree. Sometimes you just got to agree to disagree and let things go. Like during this time right now, like it's really about letting go of things that need to be let the fuck go. You know what I'm saying? And if the shit ain't working, stop trying to force some shit. Because it's just angering you and it's just affecting your energy in a negative way. It's putting you in a place of darkness. You know what I'm saying? Because you're feeling like you have to keep repeating yourself. Like, that's what, like, it's like, I feel like the the thorn of your existence is having to feel like you have to constantly fucking repeat yourself or you're, you're constantly going through the same shit over and over and over and over and over. Like, you keep repeating the same shit over and over. And you, I, I just want you to really focus on her face. She has had it. Do you hear me? She has had it. Okay? Has had it. And then, so you go from the storm into the pink lotus. <laughs> you like, listen. You go from one extreme to another. Look at you. From one extreme to another. Throughout this storm, it's going to bring you abundance and peace. I need you to, like, stand firm on your fucking beliefs. If this person does not agree with the way your lifestyle and the way things is rocking in Saggy Land, then, okay, then you're going to feel this storm. 
And there's about to be a permanent change because this permanent change is about to bring some peace and some tranquility into my life. Do you understand what I'm saying? And understand that everything that is rocking the boat right now is meant to rock the boat the boat for a reason because it is time for you to like literally rebirth yourself and like get your spirit in like a more tranquil and balanced place let me just read this um the pink lotus flower real quick it say it says spiritual quest travel calm Relax yoga pose, self-love and self-acceptance. Third eye and crown chakra activation, chakra awakening, connections to all. Crown chakra connected to the universe, receiving universal love messages. Self-connected peacefully to the earth. Peaceful flowing energy in the body, tranquil, sublime, spiritual moments of connections. Blessings showering upon you due to correct relationships with body and soul. Time to take a class, a course, a new study or a program. Time to welcome a new teacher, either in a form of a physical being or perhaps a path that speaks to your heart at this time. Or a spiritual guide who resonates with you. Know that while this path is tranquil, easeful, philosophy may seem out of your character for you it is a deep and true part of yourself that has long yearned for acknowledgement fulfillment and know that the nirvana is on its way so it's like trust me i'm trying to tell you like once you get through this storm and i'm trying to tell you do not back down like i feel like the reason why y'all keep going through this storm is because Y'all know your strength. You know what your energy needs. You know what makes your attitude tick. But you keep going back and you know what I'm saying? It's like you won't just... It's like y'all keep... Trying to prove yourself or trying to... You keep trying to go back into this argument instead of just realizing that these energies just ain't fucking working and I just need to go on about my damn business. You understand? So what is this saying right here? It says the storm angel. This says there may be arguments or even angry situations and fights at this moment. Withheld energies are being freed so that they can be released. You will uncover the truth about a situation as no one can lie when this angel is about her work. Any lies, deceptions, manipulations, and cheating will be revealed. The most important objective for you when this storm angel is about is to speak truthfully and act in integrity. It is all about to become very transparent. And her fierce bright light will reveal all it's hidden so that you can be, so that it can be banished for good. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear? It? So it can be banished for good. You have to stay in your fucking ground. And if your attitude is popping and if shit is dropping right now, let it, let it fall and let it stay there. Stop going back into this storm because I swear, as soon as you get out of this, you, I swear, you going to be so good. Stop putting yourself through this storm, this retrograde, whatever you been keep fighting, which whatever it is you keep fighting for, whatever it is that you've been fighting for, I'm telling you, it's going to be over. It's not even going to be a choice for you, regardless if you like it or not. A tower moment is on its arise that is going to shut down and it's going to demolish and it's going to expose anything that has been getting in the way and it's been causing a stagnation and you you know where you've been allowing this dark cloud to, to loom over you and follow you and or anger you've been following it like you are going to be awakened and this and, and i just i just know just uh, <laughs> let's get into this energy i can't even shuffle man because i'm just like i'm feeling dizzy right now like i'm dead ass feeling dizzy let me get some coffee hold on y'all i had to go from water to coffee hold on because like I'm feeling dizzy right now, y'all. Hold on. Mm, mm, mm. Woo. 
I feel like y'all been having like a lot of fucking headaches. <laughs> Judgment day. The night of swords, yeah, boy. What I'm trying to tell you, it's gonna be a lot of arguments. Ooh, yeah. Y'all might be moving too. Y'all definitely moving on. And it might be a physical move. Either someone is moving out or you're going to be packing up and moving it and just saying, fuck it. You understand what I'm saying? I'm about to move so far away. It's like a physical move because it's like you just don't even want to see anything. You don't even want to have any remnants, any reminder of this situation. What else is this that just fell on the floor? The chariot in reverse. With this, okay. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. All right, you guys. So it's judgment day, and it's 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 going to be hard. It's going to be hard because I feel like still you don't have all of the facts. I feel like. And for a long time, you realized that you had a lack of judgment and you were allowed to be pulled out of character, you know, because it's, it's like not even like you to allow certain things to transpire for as long. Do you understand with this world? I feel like it's a map trail. Like you could go back as far as some years ago, you know what I'm saying, to where y'all have lived two or three houses or something to go and it was some bullshit you know what i'm saying that happened from along from you know it's just and and sagittarius is just like look motherfucker do you understand i don't know what you believe is going on i don't know who the fuck it is that you think you fucking with okay but i want to know what the hell is going on because at the end of the day Everything that you've been trying to hide from me is slowly being exposed to me day by day, regardless if you want to tell me the truth or what's going on or not. So, you know, I'm here to check you, really. You understand what I'm saying? Because I already know you're not going to tell me the truth, but it's being exposed every day by the light of the sun and the, and the darkness of the moon, baby. Okay? You ride down on somebody. You riding down on somebody. You want answers. You want fact. You want truth. You want to know what the hell was their problem where there was a lack of judgment on their part for certain things that they have done to you. What were you thinking? Who did you think that I am? Did you really think that I'm someone to play with like that? So you checking somebody about their lack of judgment and things that you done found out, things that have been exposed, and it's coming down like a... Listen, if you thought that this situation, that y'all had a thunderstorm before, it ain't been nothing. You ain't experienced nothing like this storm that's about to come down, baby. Because when I'm trying to tell you, this is like Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> like, I feel like this person is going to be flooded. With information about how you feel, what you know, how things is about to go. I feel like someone's about to be cut out. Someone is about to be dismissed. Okay? There's going to be a permanent movement. There's going to be permanent movement. So, if this is a situation where two people live with each other, someone is most definitely being served their rights and letting them know either that you got 30 days to vacate this premises i'm packing up my shit and moving out because you clearly don't know what to do with yourself and <laughs> i've allowed you to hold me back as far as i will allow you to go that you know what i'm saying like I've, I've i've allowed you to hold me back enough the buck stops here. It stops. It, 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 it ends here. You know? I feel like even though throughout this travel, throughout this journey, I feel like Sagittarius is still going to be a little emotionally disturbed by everything that's gone on. Because you feel like that you've been backstabbed and portrayed in a level, in a way that is unimaginable. And it's going to take you a minute to get over it, but you're getting over it day by day. But the only way you're going to get over it is if you move forward. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you're chair, even if you cry and drive in the car, you understand what I'm saying? At least you got a map, you got a destination, and you know you ain't going backwards. You understand? You know you're not going backwards. This is just because of the emotions due to the separation and how things had to go down like this. Because this is, this is like... Not several times betrayed. This is someone over and over and over and over and over. It was, it was, that this person has done so much and stabbed you in your back so many times. And every time you let them come back, they just show you the same thing over and over and over and over so many times that there is no more room in your back for them to betray you or do anything more. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it is literally no room for them to do anything left. I feel like that's why you're so so wounded in your travel moving forward. But at the same time, no, even though you're wounded and you want to move quicker, but it's just you, you have you, you're going through your healing. And that's why God don't want you to travel fast he wants you to take this slow you understand what i'm saying he wants you to take this slow because you still pulling them swords out your back do you understand what i'm saying and you got to pull them bitches out one at a time because that shit hurt you understand what i'm saying could you imagine sitting there that's just like have you ever felt into like um uh uh a briar bush, what they call it, a, a stick of briar bush, or um, a thorn bush, or something, and it's like, or um, shit, got pricked by a porcupine. Shit, I hope ain't nobody got pricked by no porcupine, but something when you got like little needles and shit in you, you know what I'm saying, a cactus, and it's like you gotta pull each one of them little bitches out one at a time. The motherfuckers hurt, boy. You be like, oh, anyway. So it's just like God just wants you to take it slow. Cause you hurt and at the end of the day like i said it's time for spirit it's time for self-love it's time for you to regenerate that positive energy because let me try to tell you with all this electricity it is about to take for you to shake it back because you i'm trying to tell you i really hope that you don't get <laughs> i'm i'm literally seeing right now like y'all picking up somebody's stuff and throwing it like y'all are like and when it's like you're gonna i i see y'all like, when it's all said and done, like, you just fall to the floor, like, like, leaning against the wall, falling down to the floor, just crying, just, like, pouring your heart out, because it's just, like, it's just been so much. But this time, you know it's over. This time, you know it's over. You know what I'm saying? Because this person that you're dealing with, they're not going to get a fair judgment of what they're thinking. They're not going to win in this case. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're going to bring that gravel down hard on them. I mean hard. It's going to be ice cold, honey. Give me guidance in regards to this king. I mean, this knight of swords in this, in this world. Uh, the queen. The queen of spades. So... I really do feel like right now, um, the queen of spades is someone she not to be played with. I feel like right now, like y'all are in y'all's. <laughs> this person is taking you really, really low. I mean, really low. Like you were in your, I told you, you were in a fit of rage. You were in your darkness. Because when this shit hits you about everything that this person has been doing, this person's in, 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 I feel like it's more so of this person's intentions. And it's like their belief systems system behind it like they feel like they deserve whatever this shit is and you like hold on what what i don't owe you shit look for a matter of fact get the fuck out my get out you know what if you don't move i'll move like i need you to like make movements quick fast in a hurry it's just like this person feels like they this person that you're dealing with, give me guidance about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Because give me guidance about this chariot in this reverse and this trader card. Because the queen of spades is someone, like I said, she could be very cutthroat. She's very, she could be very vicious. If y'all know anything about the game of um, thrones this is Cersei do you understand what I'm saying this is someone that if you want to get dirty like she will get petty and get petty boots and get down dirty with you and you see this is Cersei with the long hair like this is before she really got really really treacherous I mean like Cersei was still a fucked up motherfucker but you know what I'm saying 
You see, she got a smile on her face. She trying to be good. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this is someone that has that darkness in them, but they typically stay in the light. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this is someone that normally stay in the light, and this is someone that really pulled them into the darkness. Do you understand what I'm saying? And now this woman is looking at this individual like, you fucked me over, so it's like I don't even want... So, like, if this is someone that does not believe in like the child support system and stuff like that because this person did whatever they did it's just like now she will go and file and do something a little bit against her own beliefs and it's not even to get back at you but it's to get her form of justice you know what i'm saying because she knows that you don't have good judgment and that you're not going to do the right thing by her so Cersei being Cersei, she gonna get you one way or the other. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's best for you to just play nice with her and do what you're supposed to do. But this person don't want to do it and this person hasn't been doing it. Traitor. Do you understand what I'm saying? She had to turn her... She had to turn her chariot around too many times with false hope of this person promising her change you understand what i'm saying and that's why i'm saying cersei this 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 queen of space felt like she had a lack of judgment because she believed him you know what i'm saying or he believed her do you understand what i'm saying let me guide us about this trader card rebutting it okay the king the king of spades and the queen of spades lord jesus yeah that's like your soulmate it, it's it was like Y'all were most definitely like some star-crossed lovers or something. But if y'all know the, if y'all know the true story of the Game of Thrones, like Cersei and Jamie, that brother and sister, like, but they were lovers. Like, I don't know, this is a sick ass. Yeah, if y'all if y'all know the Game of Thrones, y'all already know the story, okay? But if y'all don't know the Game of Thrones, whatever. These two were lovers. They had several children with each other, but they are literally full-blooded brother and sister y'all should not even be together do you understand what i'm saying so in regards to regular life now we're going to take this outside of game of thrones so what i'm trying to say you say to you is this relationship even though y'all produced a lot of stuff out of this relationship Y'all, these energies was, y'all was never supposed to be with each other in the first place. I feel like it was just, I don't know. It just, it, it y'all was never supposed to be with each other and y'all should have never touched each other. I feel like it was something, clearly this ain't no ancestral shit. I'm praying to God, listen, <laughs> uh, listen, I know ain't nobody watching me doing no shit like that. I'm just if y'all Game of Thrones, y'all know. Game of Thrones, please explain to the people that don't know nothing about the Game of Thrones that this is how that show went. Anyway, but like I said, for regular people, okay, what this is telling me that it was something in the onset of this relationship, either this person was connected with someone else and it was bad judgment on your part, and y'all came into connect like it was like after this person got with you in the tail end of a, of another relationship, and it's like after it wasn't no break for this person, they went right in with this person into you. So it was like the way y'all came into connection, it was doomed to beginning, or either the way y'all got connected, like y'all could be. This could be the sister of like one of your friends or something and you knew that you getting with her was going to cause conflict or you know what I'm saying? It had, it's something like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? It, it was something or some type of energies. You know what I'm saying? And even a collision in belief like maybe this person is christian and this one is muslim or you know what i'm saying it, it, it's something with a very big difference in the way people live their life or their lifestyles 
where it was bound to be chaos at the end, regardless. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really do feel like this because what this is telling me right now is you having to exchange partners. Do you understand? Like business partners, like a work partner, like this is like you realizing that this person is a traitorous person. Like this person, I should have never got with this person to begin with. Like the first onset of me meeting this person, I heard something about this person or you know what I'm saying? I feel like it was something. It's like hindsight is 2020. Hind fucking sight is 2020. And look at his face. Look at his face. Look at Jamie's face, y'all. This is telling me that you had to go back to the drawing board and change how you working with people. How much time you're investing in this job. Uh, maybe even... Like I say, switching work partners, changing in job locations, transferring your job. Do you understand what I'm saying? Changing how you work with this person. So you could even have children and things like that with each other. Even out of this fucked up situation, y'all could have produced, you know, several children out of this situation. But this one is looking at them like, listen, to... You know what I'm saying? You thought you was about to play games with me, but yeah, it don't matter. I'm, I'm going to get you from the front. I'm going to get you from the back end, but I'm going to get you from the back end. You ain't even going to see it coming because at the end of the day, I'm about to change this whole scenario like in a permanent way. Like she's about to change it in a permanent way. So like this could be a divorce. This could be a complete separation, a movement of assets. Do you understand what I'm saying? Please give me some guidance in regards to this world card. Yeah, the three of hearts. The three of hearts. Yeah, I definitely feel like... Uh, I would definitely want to say it was a third-party situation. It, it most definitely was a third-party situation here. And then that's what changed the world. That's what changed the state and the environment of this love situation. And what I want to say is this woman might have three children or, you know what I'm saying? It may be three things that she loves individually that she's taking with her into this new world. But I want to definitely say it was a third party situation that is going to come to light. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this person is going to move and it can either be her and her two children moving to a new place, most definitely. But it was a third party situation. It was a third party situation and she's taking the three things that are most important to her. You know, I just heard her mother, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe this woman and her, her mother and her child, uh, it's, it's just moving. You understand? So let's get some clarification, you guys, because as you guys know, I'm still studying cardamancy. So we will most definitely be... Baby girl needed the winner, a eh? The queen of spades. An ambitious, skillful, intelligent woman. A divorced or widowed, lonely woman. Could be an older woman and also from a foreign country. She's a leader, a lawyer, a health specialist. She's clever and she's capable of conniving and plotting. She can be spiteful and catty, deceptive, cold, calculating, emotionally controlled and detached, a gossip a rival in a love or a business situation. Do you see what I'm saying? So, this could be you guys finding out, Sagittarius, that the man that you're dealing with, do you understand what I'm saying? Has this rival. Has this has this other person. This could be the rival and you could feel like someone hasn't been using their better judgment and you can be confronting them about this woman. Or you could be this woman. Do you understand? Do you understand? And you could be dealing with a man that 
you don't particularly like his attitude and you don't think that he has good judgment and at the end of the way you were very 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 capable of plotting being calculated emotionally controlled Sagittarius are you keeping your emotions together all right because you said I don't want to have a lack of judgment and let this motherfucker know my moves because I'm about to move on this bitch do you understand what I'm saying I'm tired of arguing with this person I'm tired of the lies I be keep coming to this person I want truth it's pissed this person keeps playing with me and it's okay because I'm about to shit this I'm not about talking I'm about walking I'm about movements the king of spades all right the king of spades is a man of authority an ambitious and powerful man a divorced or widowed man an older man a leader a lawyer a judge a police officer a health specialist a man from a foreign country he can be arrogant opportunistic Keyword, all right? Opportunistic, deceptive, cold, calculating, shrewd, possessive. <laughs> Keywords, opportunistic and possessive. Emotionally controlled, detached, a rival in a business or love situation. This man, all right, has been opportunistic. They only come around you when the opportunity is right. I believe that this is something that you realize very quickly. And I believe your love for this person is the reason. Listen, your love for this person. And you might have stuck around and you might have dealt with and known that this person had somebody else on the side. But I believe that you possibly try to give this person chance after chance after chance to work things peacefully out with this person and give them because it's 10 of swords. This person, do you hear what I'm saying? This person has had several times to make corrections and did it. All right. So the three of hearts represent love, beauty, happiness, new love, relationships, a love triangle. If separate is surrounded by space. Big time surrounded by space, baby. Love triangle, like I told you. But this also represents you moving to this new world and you getting new love, Sagittarius. Beauty, love, happiness, new love, creative talent, artistic ability, creative achievements such as poetry, artwork, fertility, blood and life, prayers, religion, a growing embryo. Some of you guys could be pregnant. Pay attention, okay? Especially if you still been having sex with that king of spades over there, okay? Blooming flowers, a developing love affair, a growing child, a small celebration, a job promotion. So Sagittarius, and I felt this before that you guys might be pregnant and don't know it or you do know it, but you're trying to be in denial about it, okay? Especially if you guys have still, like I said, because some of you guys know good and well that this third person still is there, but you've been allowing this person to come in and out of your world to give this person chances, and that's how those ten of swords got in your back. And now you realize that you don't have any more room in your back, so you need to change the way you operate with this person. You need to change the way you work with this person, especially if this is someone at your job that you're having this love affair with. This could be someone having an on-the-job love affair, or this could be someone that has kids with each other, and you're having to figure out a different way to co-parent the five of clubs is a card of a card of action and change a change in work situation a change in social standings like i said divorce or just breaking up someone moving out symbolizing the five fingers of the hand someone might be getting smacked it's like no let me stop <laughs> can represent in working with one's hands or making something it can also denote exercise physical labor or providing the extra effort needing to get the job done action physical activity the need for physical exercise competition a sporting event a job interview good luck okay so like i said with this king of spades do you understand you feel like the reason why you could not move forward is because you kept trying several times over and over you know, have different plans and change of actions and try to make things, things work. But you realize that there was always going to be competition and this third person was alive and well and thriving and kicking. And you realize that this motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Abby, you need to go somewhere. That this person wasn't going to go nowhere. You needed to go somewhere. 
So that's why you change your surrounding. You change the social standings and the way that you deal and you operate with this person. So this is an extreme separation with this person. Because like you said, this motherfucker is a traitor. And I ain't letting you stab me in my back anymore. There ain't even no room for you to stab me in my back anymore. You know, it may take me some time to emotionally move on, but physically, bitch, you ain't going to be able to find me. So if this is a Sagittarius that I this and, and y'all know that this energy could be reversed. This could be what the Sagittarius did to you. Um, and, you know, I'm a female. So, you know, sometimes and I read based on the cards that I see. So if I see a female card, it's the first one that dropped off. Well, I'm going to read it from a female energy because she's dipping. She, she should have never got with this person to begin with. Let's do the Lenormand deck, y'all. Let's get into the tee he he Let's get into the tee he he Give me guidance into this three he he Give me the tee he he in regards to this three he he Because that's who she, that's the reason why she's running down on this person about this third party. About this third party. And I just heard that this one might be moving in with that third party or something. Or you're telling this person you need to just go ahead and move in with that one okay you need to move in with that one and get out of my place you're telling this person like that's like i'm trying to tell you you're going off on this person you ride you pulling up on this motherfucker or texting this person or something you going off like why don't you just move in with that bitch you need to just go in the fuck on over there and this motherfucker like huh what you say bitch you heard what i said Trust and believe by the time you get back over here, your shit will be packed up and be sitting outside of the door. Think I'm playing. Think I'm playing. You think I'm about to keep playing with you with this bullshit? Oh, no, honey. Oh, oh no, 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 no. You ain't about to keep having me look like no fool. You see how she's looking at him like, bitch? <laughs> yeah. Watch how I move. Watch me now. Watch me now. The house. The house. This, I told you this motherfucker about to get out of this house. You see, she's like, <laughs> you think you about to come back home and you think you about to have keys to this house? You think you about to be coming back into this house? Nigga. <laughs> Nigga. Your <laughs> buddy. Buddy, buddy. Holy moly donut shop. Give me more guidance about Miss Cersei. The clouds. Yes. Yes. I told you guys. It is going to be disruption. It is going to be torrential rain pouring over top of this house. It is a torrential rainstorm. It is Hurricane Katrina. It is going to be a flood of emotion pouring down in this house right here. And goddamn Cersei, she the one that's causing it. And she's, she, she's starting the record. So she's doing that shit for a reason. Because you about to get the fuck. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? This listen, this is blurred vision. Do you understand what I'm saying? There was a lot of delays, there was a lot of confusion, there was a lot of mayhem and a lot of sorrow and worries and, and just you know, it, it 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 was like a lot of misunderstandings and confusions going on in this house. Do you understand? Give me guidance. What else was going on in this house with Miss Cersei? Yeah, with this gentleman. Because of this gentleman, this gentleman, this man was the cause in the in the bane of her stress and the misfortune. Like every time this man shows up at this house, like this is as long as this man isn't there, there's no dark clouds over this house. You understand? As long as this man is not here, she's okay. She's good. You ain't got no. You ain't got to worry about no smoke from her. She does what she's supposed to do. And she's good Cersei. Do you understand what I'm saying? But every time this person comes and knocks at this door. Do you understand? And with bad judgment, she always lets him in. Like she allows him to come in and affect her energy. And to bring these dark clouds into her household. And this is where she is like confronting him about this. Because she's really tired of it. And it's like you coming in my house with the smell of another whore on you. Like I can smell this bitch on you. I don't know if, like, whoever this person's been cheating on you with, if this person wears some type of oils or something. But it's like, you you could smell. It's like a smell or something. <laughs> Give me guidance. Three of hearts. Give me guidance. Owls. Yeah, it's like, she's been watching you. She's been watching you. She knows what you're doing. She's been hearing gossip about shit that you're doing. People been telling her stuff. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? And other people, like other people have been watching this. Do you understand? It's curiosity. Oh, a gentleman. We got another gentleman. Oh, wait, hold on. You might be me. Okay, hold on. Miss Saggy, you little baddie. Saggy, you little baddie. Girl, wait. Oh, wow, whoa. Girl, hold on. Ooh, okay, the whip. Wow. Wow, Lily's. Hold on. She said, hold on. I ain't going to be too bad. <laughs> I ain't going to be too bad. I ain't going to be too bad. Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius got their own secrets. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Sagittarius got their own secrets. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> okay. I am reloading. Boom. Let me try to tell you something. Sagittarius moving on, and you know why the hell they moving on? Because, goddamn, they got a little secret of their own. Like, I understand what you're doing, bitch. Every time this person kept coming in, I feel like the more and more that this person stabbed Sagittarius in their back. With this treacherous behavior, keep coming in, in, the, in this house, in this peaceful environment. Because as long as this person, do you see, like I said, do you see this hot and cold? As long as this person is not around. This is Sagittarius. As soon as this person comes knock at this door, and with bad judgment, Sagittarius allows this person to come in, boom. Torrential range, drama, attitude. Y'all go to work like this. This energy follows you throughout your day. Y'all don't be letting this, this person come into your house. And y'all going to let this affect y'all work. And y'all better not. I don't want y'all getting written up because... You're let y'all letting someone in, in, like impact your peaceful environment, impact your world, and it's affecting your attitude and your style and your energy. And even when you walk out your door, it just affects you throughout your day. And you could go to work with a badass attitude, and people could be talking about this shit, and they can be curious about what the fuck, like what the fuck is going on. With a Saggy. Like, Saggy used to be a bad. He used to be coming in here off her, you know, kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Okay? Eating motherfucking avocado toast and fucking hummus and shit. Breath smelling like onions and motherfucking garlic and shit off that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now this bitch coming in eating pork rinds and motherfucking oxtails and all this harsh shit. Bitch, I thought you was a vegetarian. Like, this person is... <laughs> It's like, I, I don't know what's big, like, whatever's been going on with your energy, I really do want to say people in your work environment and just your regular social circle, I want to say that it's been affecting, and it's been affecting your world, and people been looking at you, like, what the fuck is going on, they've been looking at Sagittarius like they on some Dr. And Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde type of shit like that, and it's because of him, it's because of him, do you understand what I'm saying? It's because, well, no, excuse me, it's because of him. It's because of him. But due to all of these torrential pores and all of that stuff, and like I said, Cersei realizing this shit, Cersei taking her power back. Like I said, she about to be cunning. She about to be conniving. She about to be slick with it. She, oh, yeah, you don't think you about to get, you better lay low. You about to get your ass the fuck up out this house, okay? She about to come down on your ass real hard. Because guess what? She's moving, and... It's like a permanent move, like, wherever Sagittarius could be buying a house, like, they could be moving from an apartment to a house. Do you understand what I'm saying? Somewhere that they're about to be permanently, or they could be relocating permanently, and wherever they're going to go, they're going to fucking love it. They're going to take their three children, or they're going to take their mother with them, and I feel like they're going to be in a complete, peaceful, tranquil situation and they are going to look and it got that ace of hearts down there at the bottom you going to meet a new gentleman he look he totally different ooh ooh you ooh you yes ma'am honey yes ma'am and then you going to meet this one and you could be like ooh fuck all that hardship fuck all that goddamn drama and all that bullshit like you going it's going to get it's going to get your energies your sexual energies like thriving again and it could also be that Sagittarius met because Sagittarius knew that the person that they were dealing with this king of this king of spades had someone else that they were cheating with you understand what I'm saying I feel like Sagittarius met someone else along the way and I think that that kind of 
helped that kind of helped things that kind of helped things that helped things and it made them realize that it's safe for them to move you understand i really do feel like a lot of gossip has been going on and sagittarius looked and they found out a lot of secrets in regards to what was going on they found out the truth or whatever they found out the truth and when they moved they found someone new and when they found that person that was new they found a new desire of their own one that they almost couldn't tame they have a brand new temptation the sagittarius has a brand new temptation and this one is totally different from the one that they were with do you understand it's totally different than the one that they were with do you understand and i want to say that the end the ending like once this sagittarius moves the suffering the abuse the anger the animosity the you know what i'm saying the intensity of everything that was in the past it's going to leave it's actually going to be purged do you understand what i'm saying you're tired of life taking giving you a beating you understand this beating that you about to dish out is going to be to him and it's going to be a sexual a lustful uh Oh, an intense and invigorating. Do you see intensalizing? I feel like Sagittarius hasn't had like a passionate sexual lover like that in a long, long, long time. And I feel like because they're going to meet someone in this new place that they're at, I feel like this person, I want to say fulfills all their sexual desires because I really do feel... Uh, there's some peace here with these lilies. I feel peace. I feel like this person, um, I feel like this person is a honest, is a loyal, is a dedicated man. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's why I feel like you're allowed to kind of uh, let your desires run loose and stuff like that. And this is something that maybe no one knows about that you're moving and you have this new person that you're talking to that you have this new lover and you also could be moving to go to school to study um you know what i'm saying to just even just start a new journey just to start a new chapter in your journal do you understand what i'm saying to start a new journal and like shit y'all could even be journaling about this shit y'all could even be journaling about this shit Give me guys about this chariot, about the delay, and Sagittarius trying to get over um, being betrayed by this king of spades and how they're going to work things out with this person. The moon, yeah, they're closing the cycles with this person. They already know all of the drama and all the secrets and stuff, you know. Their intuition is going to prompt them on what they need to do and how they need to change the way their social standings with this person and how they work with this person because as you can see this person is not going to be too happy about the fact that you're telling them about their self like you're going to be telling this person about all of the shit that you know about them you know, like you're going to be telling them about their self and they're not going to like it and they're not going to like the way that you're about to change things they don't like the fact that you're moving that you're moving on they're not going to like any of this shit yeah the fox yeah and they're going to be this person this is more about this person this person has a lot of secrets this person is very deceptive this person has a lot of skills they know how to use their wording how to be clever and conniving and be manipulative to try to reel you back in to do things their way and this is what this person thinks and this person thinks that they're going to try to use their manipulation and their deceitful skills because they know you and they know how they know you you understand and they're going to find a way to deceive you again this is how they feel they're going to find a way to deceive you again because you think you're going to go somewhere and that you're going to change something this person saying you're not going to change any fucking thing you're not changing any motherfucking thing and they're going to cause a delay they're going to cause a delay and you're moving forward they're going to try their best they are going to try their best to sabotage and 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 
find a way to make it to where as though that you can't move and do whatever it is that you want. Yeah, because you're trying to, yeah, yeah. Because you're trying to branch yourself away from this person. You see how this tree is in a body of water all by itself. You're trying to completely separate yourself. You know what I'm saying? From this person to find peace so that you can grow. Do you understand? And plant new seeds. This person is not going to allow that. So Sagittarius, you need to watch out for that. Do you understand what I'm saying? And also, I want you to pay attention to how this is affecting your health because this is affecting your health in a very negative way and that's why i really want you to get your attitude because i feel like you guys are easily being enraged to anger and that's raising your blood pressure and i really do feel like it's starting to affect your health and i don't want i just like i heard a heart attack like i don't want nobody to have like you feel like you had a heart attack, but I don't think it's a heart attack. I feel like it's an anxiety attack, but it's a anxiety attack so strong you almost felt like you were having a heart attack. And I really do feel like some of you guys are manic, depressant. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, what does that mean? I think, I think that means what, what I'm thinking that means is have you ever been in a rage so much that your body is manic where you just like, where you might be so angry, you're so out of control, where you might fuck around and destroy your house because you're angry. Do you understand what I'm saying? And like I said, like I see someone sliding down the wall, just breaking down, like after destroying their whole fucking house, after putting this person out or whatever, like they just slide down the wall and just break down crying and they just feel so alone. And that's why I'm saying I, I, I want you guys to realize how this could be affecting your health okay give me guidance for my Sagittarius okay yeah solitude like you don't want to be alone like I feel like this is your biggest fear like you don't want to be alone but at the end of the day this change is coming and you're going to have to communicate this regardless of you because it's like you're suffering you're putting yourself through unnecessary agony it's like why put up like it's like you're you're allowing this person look wisdom five you got all of these fives do you understand what i'm saying this is like conflict and change like i'm trying to tell you tower moments baby tower fucking moments like this is ending regardless if you like it or not and i want you to know like hold on truth yeah this is the truth wisdom and truth you know you have to get balance. You already know the truth you know what you gotta do sagittarius transformation the death card this shit got to end. The death card. I told you. Everything is coming to the light. Everything is going to be exposed under the sun. Under the light of the sun. and the darkness of the moon. Everything is coming out. Everything is being exposed. Give me guidance for my Sagittarius. And y'all, I'm sorry. This is going to be a long video because... I feel like y'all need this energy. Like, y'all need this time. Because, like, this is the breaking of the dawn. Like, this is literally the end. So, we got to give this the time, Five of Cups. You guys are, like, literally... What is allowing you guys to keep going back to this person is because you keep reminiscing on shit from the past. You know what I'm saying? You holding on to memories of the past. And you keep allowing that to deceive you and give you a certain false set of illusions. A false set of values because y'all should have never been with each other to begin with. I just heard mama's boy or something. It's like something where you seen in the orange side of the beginning is evident you was going to end up having to take care of this person do you understand what i'm saying that this person was always going to have someone else around because on the onset like this person came to you with some, you know what i'm saying it's like it was something in the beginning do you understand it was something in the damn beginning because it's only one cup standing. You see, it's you alone. It's only one cup standing. Every other cup is not over. It's like, it, it's like you knew in the beginning 
that the majority of this relationship was going to be by your doing alone. You understand what I'm saying? But you still kind of thought that you were going to be able to pull this shit off. You... Mm-mm-mm. The Eight of Cups walking away. Literally, with every thing left behind with just the shirt on your back. And you see, I didn't I tell you by the light of the sun and the darkness of the moon. You see the sun and the moon right there? I don't even know why I kept saying that shit. I didn't even know that that was on a card like that. Look at God. You got to leave all of that shit behind. You got to literally walk away with the shirt on your back. Grab your kids and that's it. Leave all that shit behind. You understand? The more and more, look, the two of coins, you got to release that shit. You got to drop this thing that is devaluing you, that is decreasing. Like this whole situation that you've been dealing with, it's been decreasing your value. Do you understand? And it's not about... The way people look at you is the way you're looking at yourself. It's what you're putting yourself through. You're putting yourself through agony. You're putting yourself through pain. And like I said, the way you are looking at yourself, the way you are waking up every day feeling about yourself and about your situation and about what you're allowing to go on in your home when you walk out the door, this is you. A lot of people probably don't like you right now, don't want to deal with you because you are bringing your personal problems around everybody. It's been affecting your temper. It's been affecting your energies. And I am warning you guys, if you are bringing that energy to work, watch yourself or you get fired. Because after you like this or you like this. And people are not used to you being like that and they don't know what the fuck is wrong with you and they tired of it. They've been dealing with this for the past five or six months. And they're tired of it. They want this Sagittarius back. They want their flower child back. They want the chill ass, you know, don't be, you know, be out the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, normally you'd be the fuck out the way. Chilling. And it's like when you're so much known for being this, and then you turn to this, it, it, it causes it causes a dark, ominous cloud around the whole work environment, around your family, like everyone that deals with you. Like people might be looking at Saji, like Saji, what the fuck is going on? You understand? We got us in love. Oh, new beginnings. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. I told y'all y'all moving. Y'all could meet someone new. And I feel like for whatever, I feel like maybe Sagittarius has not had like a good banging in a long time. Like, cause it's like, even if you have been having sex, it's like, it ain't really sex because it's like, if it's been a whole bunch of dark clouds looming around your house, how can you mentally engage with someone on a level to what you, you know what I'm saying? To have sex. <laughs> says the answer is no yeah dry as shit like y'all shit's been dry y'all shit's been dry you know what I'm saying I don't think y'all been having sex like the way you really been wanting to y'all haven't been getting the banging the way that y'all really been wanting to you know what I'm saying cause you haven't had no one that you could connect in that level because like once you feel like all of this Treachery sneaking in, man. If I know I'm sleeping with somebody, sleeping with somebody else, like I wouldn't like you. Uh, give me guidance about this new beginning. Action, and I know that y'all situation is dry right now, but once you take action, things will pop off. New beginning. It's time for you to soar. What is this? And release yourself from being in this stuck, dry-ass situation. Look at this shit. Car broken. Stuck. Okay? Fuck that car. Go get on the bus. Go get on the bus. Told you. Listen. Your situation is dry. Your situation is dry. There's no love. There's no action. Even if y'all do have sex, your pussy probably not even getting wet like it used to. And I'm not. I don't mean to get graphic like that. But I'm dead-ass serious. Your pussy dry. 
mentally you are not able to engage with this person like that. Why are you holding on to that shit? I would not want to engage and have sex with someone that I know is having sex with someone else. I'll be scared that they would give me something. Are y'all having sex? No. And if you is, it's dry. So it don't feel like it. You need to move on. Take action and move on. Release yourself from being stuck. We in a new beginning. Give me guidance. Yes, vibrations. Yes, vibrations. There you go. There you go, flower lily. There you go. There the fuck you go. There you go. So don't worry, I'm about to get my peace back. Don't worry, I'm about to get my peace right on back. So everybody at work, don't worry. I'm coming back. Don't worry. Listen, you just didn't know your self-worth. You ain't know your self-worth. And now that message has been received. The more and more that you kept entertaining that shit, you were keeping yourself stuck and stagnant in a dry ass situation. You were not operating in the right vibration and in a vibration of true self-worth and love. Now that you have regained your energy, you're taking your power back. Do you understand? You are moving on. You're telling this person off. You're not allowing this situation to affect your judgment no more. You don't give a fuck about what nobody say about what you're doing. You're doing what you got to do and what's best for you and my fuckers got to get out. And if they ain't getting out, you getting out. And you taking whatever the hell that you can fit in your little duffel bag with you. Everything else, the motherfuckers can have that shit. You understand? But stop putting your head down and stop suffering. Turn around and look and focus on yourself. You see that one cup back there? Focus on yourself and stop putting your head down. Give me guidance about this new beginning in love. And judgment in reverse. And the king of swords. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. This person is going to come back. And try to. um like This person know you trying to leave. They, they're going to try to like. Is this the devil? Look. The devil and the queen of wands. That's fucked up, y'all. That's fucked up. I'm sitting up here splitting up the goddamn deck, and I see the goddamn devil and the queen of wands. Y'all, listen. Let me tell you something. This person, they know how to, they know how to fuck with your emotion. This person is a liar, is a deceiver, is a manipulator, is a cheater. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is abusive to your, to your heart and your emotions. Do you understand? And your mind. Do you understand? This person plays games with your mind. This person is going to come back and they're going to try to ask, you know, uh, they feel like they're, they, they you're too harshly judging them. Do you understand what I think? They, they feel like you are, you don't have any room to judge them. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they could be talking to you in a very disrespectful way, in a very disrespectful manner. Because they thought that you were talking to them in a disrespectful manner. But guess what? You don't care. You don't forgive them. They're dishonorable. They're disrespectful. And they cause too much mayhem in your life. They're not going to get a fair judgment with you. They're never going to get a fair judgment with you. Not anymore. You understand? All that forgiveness is over. You see this person for exactly who the fuck they are. This person has had you bound, tied, and trapped in a toxic ass, adulterous, stupid, this person is just an opportunist. This person will attach themselves to any living, breathing thing that has something better than them that they can feed off of. That's all this person did was feed off of you. They fed off of your energy. They fed off of your environment. They fed off of you. They're not easily going to let you go. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are going to have to move. It's not them. Don't sit back and wait for someone to make decisions in your life. When you see how this person is operating. You see what this person is attached to. I don't give a fuck. They, they can talk about that kumbaya shit all they want to. 
their energy speaks louder than any damn books, any beads, any t I don't give a fuck. Do you hear me? Hmm. The five again. Conflict, battle. Competition. Threes, third parties. This person has more than enough women that you don't even fucking know about. Motherfuckers that you don't even know about. Do you understand what I'm saying? Listen, and then look, the fool in reverse. Don't be no fool. You better continue to be emotionally secure, satisfied on your own, and focus on your children. Work hard and focus on your children. You are better on your goddamn own. Stop trying to have a resolution and make things work with this person because it's a lose-lose battle. It's a double-edged sword. The more, more you try to work things out with this person, you stab at yourself with your own chest. Do you understand? There will be no fair justice in this situation. Do you understand? There will be no justice. The justice is severing the situation and not dealing with it because it's going to continue to keep you off balance. You understand? This person is self-consumed. Stop trying to go back to someone that is self-consumed. Do you get me? You are the fucking queen of wands. Recognize who the fuck you are and love yourself. Here go this chariot in reverse again. The more and more that you continue to entertain this shit, you are going to go nowhere. And this motherfucker is going to make sure of it. There is no true love in this situation and the quicker that you open up your eyes and recognize this the better whatever this person is going to come back to offer you you ain't going to you ain't going to accept it like i told you this person is self-consumed and is an opportunist and opportunist and only give a fuck about how things benefit them Whatever they're going to come back. Y'all judging me too harshly. You're this, this, and that. You don't even know what's going on. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about what's going on. Get your whole ass the fuck out my face. One minute you're in. Next minute you out. You come in here with false promises. You make shit seem like it's okay. Only thing you want to do is come and try to get someone some sex. And the next thing you know, as soon as you get your belly full and t you get what you want, you back out the motherfucking door. False promises. No. Every time I allow you to come in with that bullshit, I'm devaluing myself and I'm showing that I really don't have any true faith that I can go and get something better. Page of Wands. Only thing this person wants is sex. And whatever else they can get up off of me. You understand? This is someone that you need to guard yourself with. with like, do you understand? This is someone that you understand. You need to understand that every time that you let them in, you get attacked. Every time that you let them in, you get attacked. Put your guard up and, 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 and realize this person isn't easily going to let you go. This person is not going to easily let you go. Don't ever put your guard down. Y'all, I got to go. Because I, I, I done fucked around and read this whole deck out. And this video probably about to be two hours motherfucking long and shit like that. And I ain't even read my last one. Because, like, I know this is serious, y'all. And I have and I know... When and where and how I need to give additional attention to. You know what I'm saying? And I know y'all don't be watching my Sagittarius videos like that because y'all know I be digging in y'all ass. But I'm telling y'all the truth, baby. I'm trying to help y'all. I promise y'all. And I'm not saying nothing that's wrong. And y'all know I'm not telling no lies, y'all. I read y'all comments. I read every last one of y'all comments, y'all. I get y'all emails. I want to help y'all. And we're going to get through this. Because we're going to get you back to your lotus flower shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? And lotus flowers are born through mud. You got to go through the mud. You understand? Look. You don't open up your eyes. Everything has been revealed to you. You can see everything very clear. And like I said, you're going back to your style of your beliefs. Do you understand? You're not going to allow anything or anyone to collide with you and your sense of beliefs. Do you understand what I'm saying? You see exactly who people are and you know exactly who you are you know where you stand and where you're going to be give me one more and then we're out of here for my saggies and i'm sorry this video is so long y'all what is this hidden look the light and the dark side the light and the dark everything will be revealed in the light of the sun and the darkness of the moon. 
all of the secrets are coming out. Do you understand? You will be confronted. You will be confronting. Everything will be revealed in the light of the sun, in the darkness of the moon, Sagittarius. I'm gone. Peace.